What's up gamers, it's time for another video review and this time it's a double threat. This is Juan Amaril from Gamer Braves and today we're looking at the ROG Phone 5 as well as the ROG Phone 5 Ultimate. Gamer Braves These are the latest in ROG's ROG Phone series made by, I'm assuming, taking a laptop and using magic to shrink it into a phone. No, seriously, the specs on these are kind of insane. Off the top of my head, the ROG Phone 5 uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G, giving it a huge boost of power for gaming purposes thanks to its powerful GPU as well as efficient features like DLSS. In essence, the phone knows which parts of a frame need to look better compared to the rest, and can focus more energy on that rather than spending a bunch of resources making a gorgeous rock in the background no one's going to notice. On top of that, we need to talk about the RAM on these things. The regular ROG Phone 5 can have between 8 and 16 gigabytes of RAM, with the Ultimate kicking it up a notch at 18 gigabytes of RAM. That's more than a lot of laptops on the market these days. On a phone. It's not all just raw power though. ROG has equipped this phone with a variety of software options to really get the most out of your gaming experience. One of the most important ones of these is X Mode, which dramatically boosts the game's performance and is best paired with the Aeroactive Cooler 5 to boost your gameplay while improving airflow to keep your phone cool. This is especially recommended if you're using the advanced settings, since those let you really tweak the phone for your gameplay purposes. There's also the Game Genie, which among other things is great for customizing your phone's air triggers. What's an air trigger, I hear you ask? These are ultrasonic triggers on the top of the phone, letting you have more options that don't involve pressing on the phone screen, meaning more space for you to enjoy your game's pretty visuals. You also need to use the Game Genie if you plan to use the phone with the Kunai gamepad, since it lets you remap buttons for the best experience. Okay, so it has all these fancy tools to help you game, but does it actually game well? Short answer, yes, the gaming phone with game literally in its name plays games well. Who knew? We went to the Gamer Brave standard testing app, Genshin Impact, and it can get a pretty decent over 50 frame rate, all without having the game look like, well, but. The game doesn't drop any frames, all while running at a frame rate most consoles can only dream of. Speaking of, the game's ultra low latency screen is also great for these hectic action games like Genshin, or even games like Call of Duty Mobile, which becomes borderline unfair once you use the air triggers to let you walk, aim, and shoot all at the same time. The two phones have the same chipset, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G, so there's not really much of a difference between them, especially since we had the 16GB RAM model for the ROG Phone 5 and the Ultimate comes as 18. Aside from that, the phone's got plenty of unique features on it that's sure to make you stand out. The Ultimate comes as a second display on the back, letting you make your own designs to show off. These can be customized via the phone's drop down menu, though it's definitely something you'll need to check constantly while you're making sure to get it just right. It's a total flex option, but it kind of harkens back to the older days of mobile phones where we slowly started getting more elaborate phone bags. I really like it, so I'm happy. Both models come with the ROG Vision though, which is that programmable RGB strip that lets anyone even so much as looking at you know you're a gamer. You can customize this just like any other RGB panel via ROG's Armory Crate, so you can really make this phone your own with its own customized loop glow. Once you get past all the ROG gaming phone stuff, you also have a pretty decent phone in general. 1080p screen has a 144Hz refresh rate, and what that number pasta means is that you have a screen that's extremely high quality for both watching cat videos as well as high performance gaming. On top of that, the camera is pretty up to snuff as well with a 64 megapixel camera. The camera comes with two additional lenses, letting you take gorgeous vistas with the ultra wide as well as exquisite photos of your figurines with the macro lens. The night photos are pretty great too, preventing even the sun from stopping you from getting the photos you need. The ROG Phone 5 series can be a little to the steep side in price, with the 8GB RAM model setting you back 2,999 ringgit, the 16 getting you 3,799, and the ultimate a whole 4,999 ringgit. But it's not like it's all snob value either. This phone is basically made of laptop magic and runs better than the machine I used in art school. Pre-orders are slowly opening for the different models, so be sure to check GameOfBraves.com or the Asus ROG social media channels for more information about when you'll be able to get the model you want. Thanks to Asus ROG for letting us check out these two phones. This has been Juan Emeril from Game of Braves. Take care guys.